Welcome back. Some fast food restaurants are raising prices in response to the new minimum wage hike for fast food workers. And ABC 10 News reporter Spencer Soisher takes a look at who is adjusting their menus and whether experts say they're justified. Fast, easy, and cheap. The hallmark of American fast food. But with the new $20 minimum wage, fast food companies are already adjusting. Some businesses started increasing their, their prices in late March in anticipation of the minimum wage increasing. So, so some businesses started raising their prices before the minimum wage actually uh, took effect. Alan Jin teaches economics at the University of San Diego. He's been following the fast food worker minimum wage closely. Workers making minimum wage used to earn $16 an hour a 25% increase. Minimum wage work is only a fraction then of the of the cost uh, that uh, fast food restaurants have to incur. Based on research Jin's seen, he doesn't think prices should go up anywhere near that number. The companies did not share what formula they use. Tracking who's raising prices and by how much can be a little tricky. Part of that is because many of these restaurants are franchised and the franchisees can set their own prices. Shane Paul, who owns seven Jack in the Box restaurants in San Diego, told Business Insider he's raised his prices at his restaurants by roughly 10% before the wage change, knowing that this was coming. McDonald's also has franchises and told me they let them set their own prices. One franchise owner who has 18 stores in the state says he raised prices beforehand by five to 7%. An in and out burger, Californians love it, and they might like this too. They told me they've raised prices on items anywhere from about one and a half to four and a half percent. Well, the companies told us they're raising prices in response to the change. McDonald's alone made a gross profit of $14.5 billion in 2023. You know, this should help people at the, at the lower end of the income distribution. Spencer Soisher, ABC 10 News.